Hi folks, as I explained in part one, the reason for this series of first impressions was my purchase of a new PC. Upgrading to Windows 10, pictures to XE 9.0.22, Audacity 2.3.2 and Adobe Elements 2019. This video covers part two. Pictures to Exe. I've been using Pictures to Exe since 2007 when Peter came to Wensleydale Camera Club and gave us a demo of Pictures to Exe. I was immediately hooked and over the next few years it became my obsession. I must admit it took me a while to start producing slideshows. Video wasn't included in those days. But eventually, I got together reasonable shows which eventually got a public airing. One of the first problems I encountered with Pictures to Exe was the soundtrack. A chance meeting with a 90-year-old Arthur formed a duo I taught him pictures to Exe and he introduced me to Audacity. Five years later and some 200 plus shows later I managed to fall out with the powers to be at pictures to Exe for reasons why I still don't know. Consequently the last version I've been using was pictures to Exe 8.22. I think. When I changed over to Windows 10 I wasn't able to transfer the version of Pictures to Exe I had been using for the last three years and ended up installing version 8 which was 22 beta versions behind what I had been using and it showed. So having got the new PC Windows 10 and various other new programs, I thought, what the hell, and bought an upgrade to the current version of Pictures to Exe, 9.0.22. This is proving to be a dramatic learning curve, which in my 80th year is taxing my mental faculties. So, as with part one, this is my first impression of Pictures to Exe 9.0.22. Roll the video. Let's get this show on the road. I'm going to open Pictures to Exe. That's my folder with all my Pictures to Exe information in there. Um, we'll pick out a show that I completed some time ago. This is this year. Hereford Holidays 2019 We've got um, <clears throat> seven shows there so I'll pick one that's got a mixture of video and still pictures in and that's Hereford City There we have all the pictures and videos that were in the show So this is the Pictures to Exe icon so I'm going to double click that and that opens the screen and the show pictures and videos are displayed along the bottom. Now in this panel here it's not showing the folder with all those pictures in. So we'll just double click this here, double click it again, double click it again. What I'm looking for is the drive that this shows in it's actually in D drive right there's the pictures to exe folder we're looking for completed shows there we go now for some reason it's um, not showing the years that they were completed so I'll have to just that's an old one so we'll go back to that this could be the latest one no 
No, no. Right, this is this year's folder of completed shows. And there's the Her Hereford holiday. The one we're looking for is day two, Hereford City, which is that one. There we go. Th those are the pictures that are along the bottom row of the show. Well, this is my first impressions of Pictures to Exe Deluxe 9.0.22. That's how you find which version you've got. I'll just do that again. Click on Help about Pictures to Exe, and that panel opens up and it tells you which version you are using. Right. Um, Initially, all the um, various boxes with what you can do um, were in a different place from what I've been using on pictures to exe 8.22 because I didn't import my settings when I downloaded version 9. So consequently, I had to play around and get things how I like them to be. So we'll just run through them briefly. Up here we've got file and this is how you start a new project. Click on new, open, save, save as, create backup in zip, templates, recent programs and exit. You've then got the publish button which means how you create an actual audio visual show from what you've put together down here. So you can either publish it as a, an exe file which I always publish it as an exe file although I don't use exe files very much now um, I usually convert everything to mp4 which um, is easier to play on uh, YouTube, media player, things like that uh, you can't upload an exe file to YouTube it's got to be a video file so although I, I do it, it, it used to ask you to create an exe file before you made uh, an mp4 HD video file whether it does that now I'm not sure now this is an existing heading here which was on the original version that I used this is new um, it looks like you can now make an exe file suitable for a Mac computer. Screensaver was there before. HD video is the one that I use after I've made the uh, exe file. DVD, I haven't done any DVDs for a long time. Video for mobile devices, I think that might be new from the version I was using. AVI file, I haven't used that. Publish on YouTube, now I have my own YouTube channel with over 200 videos on there and uh, whether this would allow me to publish onto that channel, I'm not sure. Previously when I tried it before I lost a load of shows but um, eventually I'll get round to trying it. Create HTML5 video, I'm not sure what that is at all. Quick preview, I'm not sure what that is. Right, we'll go up to project. And there you've got undo, redo, which are the um, icons here that you can see. Uh, which are normal for Windows, files, folders, documents. So going back to project, project options. 
we'll just open that right project options looks very similar to the one I had previously uh, although the aspect ratio 16 to 9 is the preferred one at the moment by the looks of it um, but if you click the drop down arrow at the side there there's all the other options still available timing default si slide duration um, I think when I first opened this program it was set at 5 um, I always have a bit of a transition between slides so I, I set that at 7 background um, I use that regularly because if I've got a slide that doesn't fill the screen um, I don't like to see a black screen I like to see a neutral coloured uh, background such as grey and then here we've got image um, I've never used that so I will have to investigate that further colour outside slide um, th th this is in a different place than um, it was before so we click on that and it opens a colour palette and the default one is not the one that I used to use I used to use this one which I find easier to pick out the colour that I want but that's how you um, change the background colour on one of your slides moving down to audio this side of the panel looks very similar to version 8 this side seems to have changed quite a bit from what I can remember and also going back to the main screen the, the, the colour of the um, items on the screen is different to what I had previously I'll not go into what you do with all the things on here because that will make this um, impression show too long so we'll go down to the next box which is control show settings action after the I think that is supposed to say actions after the last slide but uh, you can't see the whole of the wording for some reason close show repeat show stop show keyboard wait for a key press to show next slide now that's when you're doing a show that is like a lecture and you want to keep um, a slide on the screen for as long as you're talking and then you just press a key and it moves on to the next slide um, this box here I've got ticked permit control of show using keyboard which allows you to use the pause and the forward arrow and the back arrow on your keyboard moving down again exit on mouse move that is something new I think um, not sure how that functions mouse wheel for rewinding I haven't got it ticked but I haven't tried it yet but I'll give it a try when I, I get more familiar um, left mouse button you get various options there no action exit next slide previous slide help first slide and pause that's altered quite a bit um, there are more options on the right mouse button same set of options mouse cursor auto hide show hide auto hide and it's set at three seconds whether that is um, default to what I set I'm not sure right moving down again transitions these all look very similar to what there was previously I'm not sure what they mean by global transitions or whether um, that's just my lack of knowledge on the, on this particular version but if, if you click on one of them the picture over here gives you an impression of what that slide um, transition will do and down here you can set the length of the transition thickness of the smoothing line and the directions which the transition goes now there's another word here variance right that's the different 
actions for that particular transition. Just to run through them briefly, you've got shapes, gates, page, mosaic, push, slide, curling of page. I've used that quite a few times. 3D transitions, uh, in my mind, look uh, quite impressive. Flip 3D, swap 3D. You can get some very nice effects depending on which way you make those transitions move and uh, the amount of time <coughs> you take to move them. Advanced. Um, now this is something new that I haven't seen before which I'll have to investigate. So we'll move on from transitions now. Oh, we'll just go down a bit further and see what... Oh, it's just that particular one. Before we move away from transitions, it says embedded transitions. Now I'm not sure what that's there for. Right, we'll move on to screen. You've got full screen, a little drop down arrow here. Full screen, full screen fixed size, windowed with borders, windowed without borders. Now that's new from the version I was using. When I first started using 9, um, I found that uh, I had a blackboard around my pictures, which uh, could be something to do with the size of my monitor or the resolution of my monitor, I'm not really sure. Um, and full screen fixed size was the dominant one. So I found out that if I changed it to full screen, I got the the full shot, uh, full slide on the screen. Moving down again, we've got un, unsharp mask. I can't really comment on that. I think that was there before, but I'm not sure. Watermark, that was there before, but it could have been in a different place. Defaults. This is where, if you want your settings that you've put into the a show to be repeated on the next show and ad infinitum you create a, a default template um, it looks slightly different to what it was before at the moment when I create a, a different show um, I'm having to go back and make alterations so I haven't got my head round how you use the same template over and over again yet. Right, continue on. Advanced. I'm not sure whether this was there before. I certainly um, I can recognise some of the things. Ask for password I assume is to open a slideshow. Time limited, that was there before but in a different place. Custom windows, show settings, icon for exit, that's to put your own icon instead of the bluebird that, um, sorry the, it's not a bluebird, it's a um, hummingbird that pitches to exit use. You can use your own icon. Synchronized soundtrack and slides, I've got that ticked. Pause when slideshow window becomes inactive. That's ticked, but I don't know why. Run application or slideshow on exit. We'll just click the drop down arrow there. Is the one? No. Right, so that was project options. Few changes. Hopefully I'll get into Hopefully I'll get into how you make them all work. Right, we'll go on to the next heading at the top here, which is slide. Copy slide, paste slide, slide option, slide style, objects and animation, random order, insert blank slide, remove slide, clear slide, rotate clockwise, um, 
most of those were there before and they're self-explanatory settings language there are the various languages you can um, set the for the slideshow file list sort order there are the options for that show file tree um, before I used to be able to drag it from the side or push it over to the sides so I'm not sure if I do this what what will happen so I won't do it at the moment but I'll come back to it in a later explanation slide list timeline these are shortcuts um, rather than clicking on the boxes for the various items table viewer slide list now this is still the same as it was in the um, version that I had in version 8 and it refers to this little triangle here why they don't put a name on it I don't know um, it's quite a useful thing to have and it's hidden away there and if you didn't know it was there you you will probably never use it but if you click on that it gives you like a light box um, version of what you're doing and you can move slides about to the order that you want by using that and then you just click it again and you're back to the normal view right timeline um, that's still the same now whether one's to take it off and one's to put it on there I'm not sure full screen viewer file list I've never used I think it was there before toggle full screen and preferences now preferences um, looks very similar the first um, heading is editions they're the two versions of pictures to XE you've got deluxe and essentials I would never buy the essential version because there are so many things missing um, I would miss them so I would always buy the deluxe version but I think that's for someone who only wants basic um, things to do in your slideshow and um, essentials is probably suitable for them project auto recovery I've got ticked auto save project after seven minutes so in other words um, when I'm building a, a slideshow up um, it automatically saves what I've done every seven minutes load last save project on starting um, when you've been working on a show and you're only part way through it you can click save um, and it will save what you've done and when you click on the icon again it will open that project again instead of having to start afresh and find it show full slide duration I've got that ticked default options for new slides keep full slide duration that isn't ticked and I can't remember why I would have it ticked um, scale keyframes in objects on time change I'm not sure about that now we've got ask every time optimization of video clips um, that's when you want to put a video clip into your show 
uh, it's as well to allow pitches to exit to optimize it or you could have trouble with the way it plays um, you could have juddering and it might not play correctly so let pitches to exit optimize it and you can also in that optimization edit it um, crop it do various things to it so that to me is essential but I've got it clicked on ask every time right that's that bit help you can get the online user guide by clicking that what's new I'm not sure about that welcome screen open sample project that gives you a sample of what could be achieved in pictures to exe check for updates I've got that ticked but whether it um, will operate or not I'm not sure enter new license key that's when you've um, just bought the program and again I showed you that before about pictures to exe that opens that screen and gives you all the information on there about the version you've got the number of the version right going down to where I've positioned various tabs to do things this is the positions that I had it in before and how where I like them to be like project options that's very similar to what it had before apart from advanced which I'm not sure about that's where you add an audio track or an audio file um, that seems to have been advanced a bit from what I had before so I will have to look at that further possibly download the um, instructions from the online help file because there are various things on there that I'm not sure about particularly this up here I don't know what this is all about so that needs more investigation control that that just repeats what um, we had up here transitions again that repeats it screen defaults and advanced then we've got slide options again this is the same as we saw up here and it's very similar to what I had previously apart from I don't think add audio was in the version 8 point two two which is what I had transition those are all the transitions I showed you from the top line here slide style now this has changed a lot um, from my original version eight two two um, so I'll just show you what the various tabs do but I can't give you an explanation because I'm, I'm not sure objects and animation now this is quite changed quite substantially I've made a couple of shows using 9.0.22 and uh, I've used some transitions in it um, but there's no way I've got my head round all the changes that there's been um, is quite different from what I had before so again I'll have to pass over that one and come back to it 
at a later date so we'll close that off now at cross there I can't remember what um, what it when I was setting the show up it asked you if you wanted to have that cross there and I said yes but I'm not sure what it is now this little guy here is what used to be called the toaster and it's now start preview from this slide and what it allows you to do is click on a slide and start to preview the show from that slide just like that we'll move along to the end now slides and timeline this is the slide view where you've got all your slides along the bottom here and then you've got your timeline which shows you the audio track the positions of the slides against the actual timing of the show um, this is very similar to what it was before I think we'll just leave things at that now um, that's my first impressions of pictures to XE 9.0.22 thank you for watching